For all those people that ask what can make an automatic drone-like robot even better, give them some jetpacks and missile tubes and that's what makes them better. Hey Toy and Final Faction fans, I'm here with another toy review. This time we're looking at the automated drone, the P-131. Now it's weird because this is the automated drone over here, it says P-131. This apparently, when you put the accessory kit on it, makes it the P-131 Thunderbolt, which I really, really dig. Now it took me a while to find this particular droid because I had a hard time I only found one, honestly, and I think this has become a fan favorite where a lot of Final Faction fans are taking these and customizing them to however they want. I'll find a lot of these uh, add-on pieces, but the actual drone is kind of a hard one to find. I really dig them though. Now looking at the drone itself, of course we got the Alpha Team 1 over here, we got the Final Faction logo back here. We see it's automated drone, the P131. And we get some artwork there of the uh, droid in the back. Go one to the back. Of course, we get our stats card. It talks about strength, speed, agility, stamina, and durability. And it says the P-131 drones were developed and built by Boyd. The drones are used extensively in combat and rescue operations where the Alpha Team could be outnumbered. Deploying the P-131 drones help to even the odds. Now it says weapon of choice, the P-131 uh, drone is equipped with dual 90mm M54 cannons built in thrusters to give the drone added mobility to get those hard to reach areas. That's pretty cool. And then of course with the drones, we do get a weapon set. Now this is going to be thrusters, those like missile tubes for our P-131. And I'm wondering if this is actually what makes it the Thunderbolt in that case. It says P-131 Thunderbolt Alpha Team. It has Stinger launchers with dual uh, shoulder mounted SAM launchers. These devastating Stinger missiles are heat seeking anti-aircraft ballistics. And it has Cyclone airfoils. These lightweight airfoils help the P-131 P-131 take the battle to the skies. Their tight handling and maneuverability make the P-131 an airborne nightmare. And it's got some instructions on how to pull them together. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, keep in mind, this is the packaging. And the package is not going to tell us anything else about this. we got to get these off card and get to playing. All right, and directly out of the package, this is, of course, the P-131 drone. It's pretty cool. It reminds me a little bit of some of the drones and robots that we got out of Robocop. It, it has a little bit of a uh, ED-209 or ED-260 if you're looking at the uh, Robocop and the Ultra Police kind of kind of vibe to it. I, I really dig this a lot. I can see now why this has become a bit of a fan favorite. I mean, it's got really great. It's got intakes. It's got this head here. Now, articulation wise, this is I think supposed to turn, but the way that it's sculpted, it doesn't really feel like it's meant to turn. But we do have swivel guns here that don't really have a lot of hindering. And I mean, they, they look phenomenal with, you know, those like weapon canisters, the P-131 sculpted on the side, these giant uh, cannons. And then you've got these feet and they actually will move forward so if you want to have him shoot backwards <laughs> you can and of course back like this and then bring him forward and then there's quite a bit you can you can do with this one little robot um one thing is his feet don't actually go back much so you know if you're gonna do it kind of walking forward is the way to, to go with this but it's an interesting design now with that, you have him on his own packaging and then you've got these guys here and these are your additional weapon sets that are sold on the side. Uh, it looks like this is supposed to snap into here. And then this fits up in the top like so. 
go. Ooh, that one's uh, a bit tight. Maybe I should try the other one over here. Alright, well, and then over here you've got this. This snaps into here. And these, I think, snap on the back of this for the air bulbs. Okay, so that's that works pretty well there. I think this would probably be better off going on the other side. Like this, and bringing it forward. And the same with this one over here. You snap that in. You can bring it forward in these turn, which is pretty cool. And then you've got these pieces. Now, these are super tight on this. I'm going to switch if I can. Oh my goodness. I think I might have gotten like maybe a too tight of a set. Put this one on this, see if this doesn't change some of that dynamic. That goes there. This one goes up here. Of course let's flip it around so it kind of matches like that. There we go. And we've got two of these muzzle mounters. The one thing to keep in mind with these is like these kind of rock a little bit in my opinion. They're not as solid so as you're trying to move this, they keep wanting just to fall out the technical items. Not as big of a fan of these. I think the the jets on these work really well. Um but these I, I'm having troubles with, all in all. You know, and keep in mind, you know, the sets themselves, the figure is $1.25, the weapon accessory set is $1.25. Right now, you're looking at a grand total of about $2.50 worth of an action figure with some accessories on it. And it is solid, solid, solid. Again, Greenbrier and the Final Faction team have really sold us some fantastic toys, and they're continuing to do so. And even if you're not big on the weapon sets on this one, the figure itself is a solid action figure. It is beautifully made, and I definitely love it. It's really cool. That's all I got to say about the P131 Thunderbolt in this case, because he has all the accessories on him. Um, you can find him over at Dollar Tree. He's out there. He's available. Um, I had to get a little bit lucky with mine, but hopefully there'll be more out soon for everyone, so that way they'll be able to get them. And remember, they're not dolls. They're action figures. In this case, automated drone action figures. It really does remind me of something out of RoboCop. When I'm not recording videos here on YouTube, I'm actually over on a podcast on MarvinDogMedia.com called Talking Toys with Taylor and Jeff. It's a really cool toy podcast. Be sure to check it out. Also, I need your help getting my YouTube channel to grow. Be sure to subscribe down below with that big red button. Hit that bell for notifications so you can be alerted of anything that comes from me to you. Like this video. It helps YouTube know that you like what I'm making. And comment down below. I like chatting with you all.